to get started, you need, you need to go to google.com forward slash analytics and there should be a, a button on the top right where you can sign up. Uh, once you're signed up, uh, let's have a look. It should look something like this when you're signing up. So we'll go create a new account. Um, give the account a name. Uh, give it your website name, website address, etc. etc. Click get tracking ID. Um, that should also lead to giving you the code as well as the ID. Um, but you need to put in HTML of your website within the head tags so that it can start um, recording your visitors. If you've got a WordPress website, I recommend using Google Analyticator plugin. So go to plugins, add new, then activate it, fill in the details. You'll need your uh, tracking ID, which should begin with letters UA, have a hyphen, a few numbers, another hyphen, and then another couple of numbers. That should be pretty straightforward. Uh, once that's all done and dusted, you click on the reporting button and right, okay, dashboards. So, right, dashboards basically. These are good for if you want to email somebody a number of graphs, a number of reports in one go, in one neat presentation. Um, then you just da use a dashboard. Um, you can have different dashboards with different elements of or aspects of your reporting or for different people. Um, and then what you can do once you've got your dashboard, you're happy with it. Let's have a quick look at this one. Okay, the data is really rubbish on this because the web, the blog that I'm using, it's got literally started it. Well, I've had it a while, but I've got no content on there, so it's not had many visits. So it's pretty poor amount of data. But you can add, you can add more in here. Timeline, choose a metric. That is new visitors compared with. Okay, so you can add different graphs in there. And um, once you're happy with it, just go to export PDF and then you can pop it on an email to someone or you can just email it there. And um, you can also schedule it to go out every every week or whatever you want as a PDF. So that's, apologies if this is a bit vague, but that's a quick uh, look at, have a quick look at the dashboards. Um, a really good time saving feature for dashboards if you go to customization and then you can click import from gallery and then there's loads of pre-made reports that other people have done you can kind of, uh, not rob, but you can kind of use theirs Be able to see all the different reports. Um, use one of the, the uh, click on one of the arrows, and then you get kind of the the sub reports if you like. Um, so, for example, behavior, what your visitors are doing on your website. Um, so, one main thing you want to be aware of is the ability to change the date ranges here. So, choose, whoops, choose a couple of different dates. Um, so, I uh, balls that up, but yeah, it'd be easy to do it on here. So, if I want to do October, just whack it in there, the two dates. Um, if you want to compare October to November, then you do the same here. So, November 1st, November 30 days, September, April, June. So hopefully that should compare October with November of last year. Yeah, absolutely bugger all. Um, as I explained, I think, before that um, the blog that I've got, it's not been going very long. It's not got much content on there. Um, my proper blog is blackbeltwhitehat.com. That's using the uh, free WordPress uh, platform. I've also just done this blog as well. 
which hasn't got much content on or anything. So that's why the the uh, stats aren't great. So you can, you can populate this graph using the kind of metrics here. So that's showing visits. Uh, back then it was bugger all. So I've changed a different date. Uh, so let's change this to December. Hopefully there should be some data on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so we've got visits, and then we'll add another metric to go on there. Set up a couple of goals. So let's whack that on there as well. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing great with that, but as you can see, it's added that to the graph. Um, if you want to download this data, you can do. Um, just go to export, and then you can choose your format. So that's just one quick overview of one report, but these ones, in terms of what you can do with them, generally tend to be quite similar. Um, well, in terms of changing the date at least, they all usually have a little tutorial to go with them as well if you're stuck up about what you, need, you can do with them. For segments, most of the reports on the top left should have this little drop down arrow. I click that, create new segment. Uh, so for example this bad boy here just click on it and then apply one bounce visit should be then added to the graph um, you can create your own segments for example operating system contains windows save that and then you can add that as a, as a filter as well. So some of the reports you might want to start off perhaps having a quick look at um, the ones I use quite a lot so for example if you go to where's behaviour there it is uh, behaviour site content all pages it shows you all the pages on your site um, that have had visits anyway and um, the forward slash represents the home page unless you set it, set it up differently um, it's just a good way of a quick overview of what pages are getting visits what you know quick description of the visits as well so the only pages that have had visits on my website are the home page the about me page just these pages if it hasn't had a visit it won't be on here um, the landing pages report shows you the pages people land on to get to your site. Let's have a look at that one. So these are the ones that come from a search engine or they come from a, a click through from a different website. These are the first pages they come to on my website. Um, so everyone comes to, everyone so far has come to my home page first. Exit page is the opposite. The pages they leave on. So if people are leaving on a website uh, sorry, on a web page, <clears throat> for no particular reason, there's a one with a high, high percentage of um, exits. You might want to have a look at that page if there's something wrong with it. If it's broken in any way. 